All right, let me talk to you about some uh, new functions that the motherboard can unlock. I haven't talked to it about it before, but so let's get into it. Feature number one is that when you turn on the scooter, you can switch off the fact that you have to press the ready button or the parking button in order to drive the scooter. So here you see, I turn on the scooter and it will directly be ready to drive so I can drive right away. Let's say you pair this with the wireless key accessory. All you have to do is press a button on your scooter and you can drive. Now next, another pretty unique feature is that not only can your scooter drive forwards, you can actually drive backwards as well. So once you have the setting enabled, you hold the ready button and you hold gas, it will actually drive backwards. So you can see I'm not using my feet, only just the balance. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this uh, feature because it's kind of dangerous when you go backwards really fast. But uh, you can see, it's hard to demonstrate with one hand, but you can definitely drive backwards. And let's say you have two people on the bike, super heavy, maybe you're on an incline or something. You can just, for example, go left and then reverse so you can make a U-turn. So it's pretty useful. So as you can see, now I'm driving backwards. It's hard to film with no hands, uh, with one hand, but I'll try to get some footage of this. Now I do have to say in daily life, I actually have been using this feature a bit. So let's say you park somewhere and you have to reverse to get out. Then it becomes very useful. Or sometimes when you're Wait, on incline, you want to do a U-turn. You just quickly hold the ready button and you go backwards just so you can do a U-turn. And the third feature which you can program is that usually when the side stand is down, you can not drive your scooter. But you can program this so that if your side stand is down, you can still drive the scooter. Now, I think the side stand not being able to drive it's actually quite a good feature because you don't want to damage your side stand when you're driving or let's say you're already driving halfway and suddenly you notice your side stand is still down but i definitely think for everyday use your scooter turning off and on without having to use the ready button is very useful it can be a bit dangerous let's say you're parking somewhere and maybe you're hopping off and you accidentally hit the throttle so proceed with your own caution and and for reversing I do think you should be very careful with not going very fast because you're used to driving forwards every day but then if you're suddenly going let's say 15 kilometers an hour backwards it's very unusual so yes if you'd like to purchase one of our motherboards we have them for all models so for the uqi or m series we have motherboard and for the ngt we have a software service and the MGT, we have a motherboard. Same for the NGTFs. To add on, I think the reversing on the scooter is very, it's very different from conventional petrol scooters. They usually drive forwards, but then not only is your scooter now electric and it makes no sound, which already makes it an outstanding scooter, being able to drive backwards, that's just something you see on cars, but you don't really see it on the scooter. If you guys want to purchase a motherboard, just go to eschoolparts.com and you can always ask customer service to send a message on WhatsApp or Instagram or email, whatever is preferred, and we can help you further.